I love the way that Sydney is ready to go and Daniel is ready to go and Chase is ready to go and Grayson's ready to go. You don't need that today. You know what I would really like to see? I would really like to see everyone's shiny faces and the hoods off of everyone's heads. That would really warm my heart. Everyone should probably make sure that you have checked your mailbox and you have your binder and all the materials that you need to get today started. You can keep it, it's fine. Alright, are we ready to go? Has everyone checked their mailboxes and everyone's ready to go? Everyone's yeah. checked their mailboxes? Okay. Alright, so let's look over today's agenda to go with. We're going to do comments and questions is how we'll get started. We're going to review the characters using that chart. If everyone checked their mailbox like they were supposed to, they would have their character form. Um, we're going to add to that. I know you already have one like that, but we're going to add because we met three new characters yesterday, right? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Okay. Then we're going to read um, 13 pages in the book. We're going to talk a little bit more about your project. You have an Edmodo assignment. Who's already seen it? No, I didn't get the notification. Oh, okay. It's on there for you. You're going to do that. We're going to finish today with a fun little game looking at some different precepts, and then you'll have independent time. Is there any questions, comments, concerns? No, ma'am. Okay, so let's do comments and questions like we do every day. Who has something to share? Now, there were three characters we met at the end of the day yesterday. Who remembers what those characters were? Yes, Zachary, thank you for raising your hand. Jack, Will, Charlotte, and Julian. Okay, let's do one at a time. So, we met Jack, Will. Or you just put Jack. We could put Jack. What do we know about Jack? Do we have a physical description of him? Not yet, so we can leave that blank. What about personal qualities? He's a what? A traitor. We don't know that from the story yet. We've we saw that in the movie, but we're talking about what we know from the book. What did you say, Rami? He's a nice guy. What else? So only Zach Wheeler and Rami and Grace are going to participate today. What else do we know about Jack Wheel? He's kind of shy. We could write that, Riley. Okay, so we don't really know much about him, but we can build on because we're going to learn a little bit more about him today, right? Yeah. Is he a major or a minor role in the book? Major. Major, major because he's what? Augie's what? Best friend. Yes, and we're going to leave important quote alone because we will go back and add that later because we don't know enough about him, right? Yes. Okay, Sydney, who else was in there? Um, Julian. Julian. What do we know? Do we have a physical description of him yet? No. No. Okay, appropriately, let's talk about the qualities that we know about Julian thus far. He's not nice. He's rude. He's rude. I like the way you say that, Zachary. Go ahead, Riley. I'm sorry I cut you off. He acts one way around, but that's when he acts another way around. I don't know what that's called, exactly. I like that a lot. It's kind of um, a way you could say it's two-faced, maybe. He, so we'll say two-faced. What'd you say, Chase? Yes, very good. Okay, so moving on, we can add, because we're going to learn more about Julian today as well. Um, what is, is he a major or minor character in the story that we know so far? 
major, because he's the what? Holy and antagonist. Okay, you can write down on there what your opinion about why he's a major character in there, because I know we have some different opinions floating around the room. <clears throat> okay, and now we have one other character that we met yesterday. What color Crocs, Grayson? Do you remember that? Who can help him out? Who can help him out? Nope. Nope. What color of Crocs did she have? Nope. What's a bright, sunshiny color? Yellow. Yellow. She was wearing yellow Crocs. Okay, what do we know about Charlotte? She wears yellow Crocs. She wears yellow Crocs. She ta she's talkative, pretentious. That's a big word, she's Sydney. I Peter like it. What's wrong with that? She likes drama. Okay, is she a major or minor character in the story? Minor. Oh, yes. Minor. Well, let's think about this. You can, you're entitled to put your opinion on this because this is your opinion piece. This is how you are describing these characters. So you could say she's a minor character because we don't know yet, but then at the same time, she's one of the first people Augie ever met at the school. The school. So you decide what you want to put there. I'm not going to put anything. But you could put in your role in the story one of his first friends. Are we good on that? Yeah. Can I get a thumbs up? Okay, I'm pulling down the curtain. Actually, I'm going to erase the curtain. Who's the author of this story again? R.J. Pasilia. So, the last chapter we talked a lot about precepts. Mr. Brown talked a lot about precepts. So, if someone had to make a prediction, what is Miss Pierce going to make you do? Precept. Do something with a precept. So today we're going to start a precept project. It is going to be due on Friday. Let's look over this a little bit. We talked about it yesterday, but we're going to talk a little bit more about it today. Um, so you're going to have a partner. I have picked partners for you, so you'll have an assigned partner. You're going to work together. You and your partner we have seven precepts, I think, that you can choose from. You're going to pick one of these precepts, and you're going to discuss it in length, what that precept means. Okay? You and your partner might have a totally different opinion about the precept that you, you choose. So what do you think you're going to have to do? Compromise. Compromise. Thank you, Zachary. Compromise means to what? Work together. Work together. That means to come up with something that you can both agree upon. So once you've chosen your precept, you know the true meaning of your precept, you and your partner have discussed it, you feel comfortable talking about it, you're going to come up with a couple sentences that describe that precept, okay, in your own words, the value, what it means, and then you're going to figure out a way to present it. So you have three options. We talked about this yesterday. How many options do you have? Three. How many options do you have? Three. How many options do you have? Three. Thank you. You have three options. You can make a PowerPoint. You can make a poster board. You can make a Prezi. What if one partner is like, oh, I want to make a Prezi. And then the other partner is like, absolutely not. I want to make a poster. What am I going to say to you? Compromise. Thank you, Zachary. I'm going to say compromise. You were on to it, Riley. All right. So you have this to look back to. Okay, now, if I'm going to give you a project, I obviously need to tell you how I'm going to grade it, correct? We looked at this yesterday, but we'll look at it again. So, I'm looking at four different areas, and you can score between four, three, two, and one, which means four times four is? Sixteen. Sixteen. So, the highest that you can score on this project is? Sixteen out of sixteen. Sixteen out of sixteen. Thank you, Grayson. So, I'm looking at the media. 
Do you have pictures? Does it look good? I'm looking at the design. Are you using different fonts? I'm looking for different colors. Is it catchy? Is it graphic? Do I like it? I'm looking at the content. Did you describe your precept? Is there a unified response to your precept? The meaning behind it? And then you know how I judge presentations, correct? Correct? Yes. Can I get a capiche? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Grayson. Yeah. Um, so, when is this project due? Friday. 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 It is now 2.42, and I am going to give you, it's 2.42, we'll go until 2.55 of you working on your project. Do you remember who I said your partners were yesterday? Yeah. Okay. I know it was Jake, me, and Lila. Yes, you three are a group. Daniel and Zach, your partners, and Grayson and Cindy, your partners. No, we're doing this as a group. Um, your partner, Jonathan, he's not here today, so Miss B is going to help you get started, okay? But when you're doing this, you need to think about, is Jonathan going to agree with what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, so get with your partner now. I've, I've matched you up. Get with your partner group. Talk about which precept you want to do. Maybe jot down a couple notes and then come to me and say, Miss Pierce, I'm ready. This is what I want to do. So today is more about discussing your precept, how you're going to present it, and what it means to you. You have 12 minutes. Go. I need everybody to stand up, shake it out a little bit. This is the last thing we're going to do today. <clears throat> Are we ready? I know you're ready when you're looking at me. Rami's looking at me. Sydney's looking at me. Daniel's looking at me. Zach's looking at me. Riley's looking at me. Chase is looking at me. Other Zach and Grayson. Cool. We're ready. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We've played the agree disagree disagree game before. Capiche? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you agree with a statement, you're going to be on the side with the couch. If you disagree with a statement, you're going to be on the side with me, okay? okay. I'm going to make a statement. If you agree with it, which side are you going to? Uh, which side are you going to? Couch. Thank you, Grayson. If you agree with me, you're going to the couch. If you disagree with me, you're going to which side, Riley? You're going to which side, Sydney? The side I'm on. Are you ready? Yeah. Remember, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Make sure that you speak your opinion about this matter if you are asked. Okay? The first one is, three things in human life are important. The first is to be kind. The second is to be kind. And the third is to be kind. If you agree with that statement, you go by the couch. If you disagree, you come to my side. Think it through. There's 365 precepts in this book. We're going to look at six of them. Okay, so I've got, we're about 50-50. Daniel, why don't you agree? Because there are more important things in life than just being kind. you got to make sure you're always making the right decision. Like with a friend, if, if they're like, you know, using like drugs or alcohol and you're like, yeah, that's so cool, I mean, you should be careful, I mean, how much you should take, and then there's being right, where you take it away from them, make sure they stop doing that, tell their parents. That's a good reference, so it might not always be important to be kind there, right? Okay, anybody got anything to add to that on this side? <laughs> 